Star Wars The Clone Wars is very near and dear to our hearts. The show has over a hundred amazing episodes to its name, from the earliest chapters of season 1 to its beautiful series finale. Now that we've all had plenty of time to process the show's end, we figured it was about time we went back over to it to see what we failed to appreciate the first time around. We're all about a decade older than we were when this show first aired, and so we figured it'd be good to go back and re-examine some of the episodes of the show that tend to be forgotten about. In this new series, we're going to be talking about what we believe to be the 10 most underrated arcs of the Clone Wars, starting today with the premiere of Season 1, Ambush. Attention, Sergeant on deck! Ambush was the first episode of the Clone Wars after the mixed bag that was the 2008 movie. Despite the film's poor reception, Ambush was the most watched episode of anything that Cartoon Network had ever aired at the time of its release and was generally seen as a big step up from the movie. But Ambush has sort of been swept under the rug by fans since its initial big showing. It's part of season 1, which a lot of Clone Wars fans tend to brush off altogether, remembering it for episodes like Bombad Jedi instead of Ambush. That's a damn shame, because Ambush was really good. Let's recap the plot of the episode real quick. At a time when the Clone Wars were still in their early stages, the Republic reached out to King Katunko of Toydaria, a neutral world in Hut space, hoping to get permission to build a military base on the planet. Katunko agreed to meet with the representative of the Republic on Toydaria, a remote moon covered in massive coral formations, and the Republic sent Grand Master Yoda of the Jedi Order. But the Separatists learned of this planned meeting, and Asajj Ventress led a droid army to Rugosa to ambush Yoda and his escort. Yoda made it to the moon anyway, but found Ventress's army between him and the rendezvous point. With just three clone troopers as backup, the Jedi Master battled the droids to win Katunko's favor. In the end, Yoda and the clones came out on top, and Toydaria allied with the Republic. Now, you can tell that this was one of the first episodes of the show. The animation pales in comparison to that of later seasons, the pace is off at times, and some of the writing is lacking. It's still a good episode overall, of course, with a solid plot, good characters, and, of course, a takeaway lesson for the audience. Weapons do not win battles. Your mind, powerful it is. Mm. Out think the droids, you can. But there's one aspect of this episode in particular that we'd like to focus on, how it depicted Yoda. Yoda wasn't, and never was intended to be a main character of the Clone Wars, even to the extent that the show had main characters. He was a side character for most of the show, a familiar face the audience already knew that other characters could work off. The creators of the show didn't really need to put much effort into writing him, but they did so anyway. In fact, with Ambush, they actually created their own interpretation of Yoda, and perhaps the best interpretation the character has seen to date. Let's take a step back for a minute. When the prequels were released, they were subjected to criticism, some fair and some unfair on many points. Worst cosmic wars ever! I will only see it three more times, today. One of the less remembered ones was that the way they depicted Yoda was virtually nothing like how Yoda appeared in the original trilogy. In The Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi, Yoda was a very mischievous and almost silly character, but one with plenty of hidden wisdom. He was far more powerful than his appearance would suggest, far older than most living beings could ever be, and far wiser than nearly anyone else in the galaxy. But he also had a finely developed sense of humour, which ended up defining his personality instead of his other traits. <laughs> he had the air of a crazy old hippie, exactly the sort of person you'd expect to live in a swamp on the far end of the galaxy. But in the prequels, Yoda was much more severe, and much more of, well, a bureaucrat. He was still wise and powerful, but the mischievous attitude that had made him such a lovable character was mostly gone. Yoda's trademark sense of humour was nowhere to be seen, with the exception of one forgettable moment. Lost the planet, Master Obi-Wan has. How embarrassing. How embarrassing. In time, audiences came to accept the prequel version of Yoda. 
The original trilogy's depiction of the character was recast as a product of Yoda's trauma and guilt over his failure to stop the Jedi Order's fall, or perhaps a product of the wisdom and or isolation of his exile. But in Ambush, the writers of the Clone Wars took a third route with the character. They combined aspects of the two depictions. In the episode, Yoda is just as mischievous and carefree as he is cryptic and powerful. He retained some of the core elements of his character in the prequels. He clearly hasn't learned the lessons of Order 66 yet and is more confrontational and even vaguely arrogant for it. But these are woven in with the character traits that made him such a beloved character in the original trilogy. His humor and almost zen-like sense of oneness with the living force. This is visible from the very start of the episode. Yoda is introduced shortly after the episode intro when his consular ship comes under attack from the Separatists. As the clone crewmen aboard the vessel are tense and on the verge of panic, Yoda is serene and almost detached, taking comfort in the Force. He calmly reflects on the situation and thinks his way out of it without much hassle, clearly displaying the stoic clarity of mind the Force gives him. Yoda puts this on display at several other points in the episode, mostly when he makes tactical decisions. Every time, he states his plans in a light, carefree tone, which work together with his cryptic words and unorthodox tactics to give him some nice, crazy old man energy. At first, the three clones accompanying Yoda, Thia, Jek, and Reese, are baffled by the Jedi Master, acting a whole lot like Luke did upon meeting Yoda in The Empire Strikes Back. <laughs> Do uh, you have any idea what the General is talking about? How should I know? Just as Luke did in that film, the three clones serve as foils for Yoda's silliness. Believe it or not, this actually makes a big difference. Yoda is usually written cryptically, but it only works for the audience when the characters he's speaking to find it cryptic. If he were to speak cryptically and the other characters understood him, it would give his lines a completely different tone for the audience. Other elements of Yoda's original trilogy depiction, which had almost been forgotten during the prequel era, shine through in Ambush. The episode emphasizes Yoda's reverence for life and the living force. He remarks on the beauty of the moon while the clones are busy preparing for battle, and before the smoke has even cleared from the battlefield, he sits down and lets some local flying creatures perch on him. Perhaps most importantly, his sense of humor returns in full force in this episode. He messes with a group of super battle droids instead of just destroying them, he toys with Ventress when they finally meet, and he makes little jokes fairly regularly. His antics are funnier for the fact that the clones obviously find them to be totally inappropriate battlefield conduct. But elements of prequel Yoda shine through an ambush as well. Yoda is still the heroic leader of the Jedi Order with a decisiveness and confidence he had lost by the time of the Empire Strikes Back. He's more than willing to do battle for the Republic, facing a whole column of tanks with infantry support alone in an enthralling display of Jedi skill. He's not afraid to whip out his lightsaber or use the force in ways that original trilogy Yoda would probably find reckless. It's worth noting that Yoda's battle sequences do incorporate a bit of his original trilogy attitude too. He regularly tricks droids into destroying each other instead of just cutting them up for example. But the crowning gem of Ambush's depiction of Yoda is a scene that nobody who watched the episode on its premiere expected. His heart to heart with the clones. In that scene, he displays the one major character trait that has always remained consistent with his character, his deep wisdom and understanding of life. He not only inspires the clones to get back in the fight, but addresses each of them individually. He counsels Reese to draw strength from his comrades instead of focusing on the enemy. He teaches Jack that the mind is more powerful than the heavy weapons he values so dearly. And last of all, he advises Thyre to be less eager in seeking out fights, for survival is the only way to truly win a war. Yoda saw beyond the clones' identical appearances, speaking to who they were on the inside instead of who they appeared to be, and in this first episode, he taught one of the Clone Wars' most defining lessons. Clones you may be, but the Force resides in all life forms. Yoda's lessons in this scene weren't just aimed at helping the clones win the battle at hand. In fact, the lessons themselves weren't really necessary for victory at all. Rather, even in this tricky situation, Yoda saw three troubled individuals, identical in appearance but distinct in heart, 
and tried to help them become better beings. He taught them the lessons of a true Jedi, and he did so not for any tactical reason, but because it was what they personally needed. Ambush didn't have to write Yoda this well to be a good episode, but the show's writers put a little bit of extra effort in and let audiences see who the character of Yoda really was. In just 20 short minutes, they let every one of his defining features shine forth, bridging two distinct depictions of his character. The episode doesn't get nearly as much credit as it should for doing that. So that's our look back at Ambush, the first of 10 story arcs we're going to be covering in this new weekly series. But what do you think? Are you excited for next week's video? And what do you think of Ambush? Feel free to post your thoughts in the comment section below. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.